All right, guys. Cable guy Ken here. Uh, last video I'm gonna do for a bit on this. My little uh, last stitch tool. Moved into the house because the rain was coming in pretty quick. Um, you can see it's not all that thick. It's a little bit thicker than it was earlier, and I'll show you why in a minute here. Um, I've actually added about six foot of parachute cord to this. Of course, I've always got on my wrist. I've always got my bracelet. But uh, six foot of parachute cord, and I've still got room for maybe a ten foot spool of uh, snare wire to go in there. I've also added in where my blade is. I've taken a, a heavy aluminum foil and wrapped some my dust up in it. Of course you could do a, a Vaseline soaked cotton ball and wrap it up and compress it down. You know you can make it pretty small. Um, still be waterproof. That's wrapped about three or four times in that foil. So it's good and waterproof. Of course I've got my mag block in there and my little my little tool. Um, this little notch right here that I was showing you earlier you know how it fits your finger it's also the perfect size for doing your ferro rod if you need to start a fire with it um, or you could use the edge if you needed to you know maybe even that little edge there I assume you could probably get a good little spark off of it um, being that it's carbon steel you know you could sharpen this on just a rock out in the woods you know like such you're not looking for a fine shaving edge you want the working edge but if you need to get my little pile of my dust this is homemade so don't watch this and think my dust doesn't work all that good that's homemade my dust out of fat lighter but you can see it'll work um it's not you know I said this isn't all around everyday use tool this is just your last ditch tool um, pretty sturdy even if you've got this mounted in the hatchet you can still you know it's still maneuverable enough that you can start a fire without you know taking it out or if you've got it in your hatchet and you wanted to use that piece there to throw sparks it's a little bit more cumbersome but you can throw a spark with it or even just the uh, the rounded edge or the straight edge you know any straight edge all you're looking for is something that'll strike that uh, sparking rod keep in mind that a magnesium block that's that uh, ferro rod that's on there is not as good as an average ferro rod um, definitely not as good as like the blast match or you know to light my fire army steel but it does put a little spark out and it does the job um, it's just a little bit more finicky of course my house smells like soot it smells like pine burning like winter time in the, the mountains but that's it the only thing I'm gonna do to this other than you know maybe fine-tuning that edge a little bit um, for my own personal use is I'm gonna make a leather pouch for it and uh, finish squaring this off a little bit I don't want it sharp but I want it to have a little bit of a a small chisel to it so it'll really break a bone open if I take it and you know hammer into something um, breaking bone up you know you find bone out in the woods all the time uh, you find deer carcass laying around here all the time where people have shot them and not found them um, I'm around this piece right here off just a little bit you can see I've got big fingers and it kind of catches in there it wouldn't be comfortable for any long-term use but uh, that's it. I'm happy with it. Definitely going to be an addition to my everyday carry. I said inside this little wallet, especially after I make it out of leather, if I was to go into somewhere, you know, like our local police station, you have to drop everything outside. They put it in an envelope, put your name on it, you get it when you leave the building. And as long as you don't raise any suspicion by seeming suspicious, they don't question what you're putting down so I could hand them my little wallet with all this in it uh, along with my other pocket knife and uh, my keys and all they put it in my little folder for me and they'd never know that I had a two and a half inch blade two inch blade in my pocket um, other than the metal detector going off you know you nobody will ever know this is in your pocket 
it's going to look just like another wallet and I know a lot of guys that carry two wallets anyway they've got one with their uh, checkbook in it and then they've got one with their regular you know credit cards and cash and driver's license and such so it's a good little deal to have um, definitely you know might can save your life one day or if nothing else make you a lot more comfortable until you get out of the the woods till you get out of the situation you're in um, that was the whole idea behind it just something I could take with me I don't always have the option of taking my tomahawk or my small hatchet with me so I've always got at least you know this knife I've showed before um, I keep it on me a pretty good bit it's always clipped into my pocket um, so I mean I would have this in the woods with me as well but uh, you're only gonna have what's in your pockets if something happens drastic your your boat cap sizes or whatever um, as we learned in the one tool challenge that we did with Dave that would be an extra tool that I'd have on me just because of the simple fact that it'll always be in my back pocket it's not just gonna fall out it's easy to carry so I'm loving it I might make a few of those and hand them out at Christmas for presents not sure yet depends on how everything goes but I hope you enjoyed it keep giving me some feedback uh, any videos y'all want to see anything y'all want to see me review or demonstrate anything like that I'm not the best teacher in the world I do like to talk I can do that much for you but uh cable guy Ken hope you enjoyed it look forward to hearing from you thank you guys